Hello and welcome everyone again to another video and today's video we have an ultra league team from Smash King. Smash King played this team on stream and he actually uh, went, okay let, let me read his message, let me read his message one second. Where is the Smash King? And he went with this team with a crazy run, like I think he dropped the three games in five sets. So he went to 22 and 3 with this team in the ultra league uh, the team is basically uh for alligator double dragon he's a, he's using dragalge as a second dragon and there is no dragonite usually when you say someone said dragon double dragon there is a dragonite no he is not running dragonite he's running como and dragalge dragalge as like a dragon poison to bait out the fairies and kind of chip them with some aqua tail since charm damage is neutral unlike como it takes double super effective from the fairy damage uh como is extremely underrated it's the most underrated pokemon in ultra league and hakamo is the most underrated pokemon in the great league so without okay. further ado let's just go and watch these battles smash oh, king is a pokemon go here. streamer he streams on twitch i will be leaving his channel in the description below so make sure to check his live stream he does stream like three to four times a week <coughs> so if you're looking to learn from someone who baits a lot okay smash king is known for baiting and that's his unique uh, unique play style in the game he does bait a lot but the moment opponent no shield it's always a nuke yeah just a little just like that uh here we are picking up a good lead because shadow claw we're doing like neutral damage with shadow claw and i and crunch look at that guys see i told you crunch is the truth the smash king believes also that crunch is the truth because running shadow claw crunch makes you beat all other water type pokemons Opponent here caught on an Ampharos. He did one pass move and then swapped out because and to transfer the damage. And now Dragalge technically walls Ampharos and it can take the and the damage better than Como. I think they are around the same bulk, but Dragalge is slightly bulkier if you have a better eye. It, it depends, like if you have a good idea or no. Uh, Dragalge was able to farm them all the way down. I kind of agree with throwing the Hydro on the Ampharos because that makes them uh, land that move like. So we landed the Outrage and now they only have one Pokemon against three Pokemon. So they decided to top left. Here now we are picking up a bad lead. Picking up a bad lead is supposed to say, oh, we're getting punished with a bad lead. And uh, into a horrible swap opponent having one of the biggest counters to dragons in the entire game, which is Galarian Weezing. But luckily this Dragalge has Aqua Tail, which does neutral damage. And it already added up. Like they are already at like... 45% health range and we shielded the player off. Player off is a neutral by the way but smash king is trying to grab a bait a shield from them because this move is supposed to get a shield if they don't i think he can shield and get a shield back uh he, oh my that was actually a good play because now dragalge is still healthy oh my are we getting sniped here <laughs> what's this team uh, look at that. Look at dude. Dude, Feraligatr is such a gay get shad. Feraligatr was capable of getting a shield back from the electric Pokemon. No other water is capable of doing that. Now people say Swamp, but Swamp is ground. Okay, we go back to Como. Como technically walls uh, Galbenshula, but the thing about Galbenshula is it has a very high attack that a. Oh my, what a catch. Amazing catch by Smash King here. That they have a psychic oh my okay luckily we were able to see that they do have psychic because otherwise we wouldn't shield that and we would still move that they didn't shield so now what's the play we kind of need to call a bait out shield the psychic and we still need to land the close combat so i think smash king is just going to throw this and cmp them if they dis oh my uh psychic doesn't ko technically yeah, uh, like uh, this is Como is just a freak of a of a champ. We need this Dragon Claw to KO, and it does KO, and he's going for the Claws Combat on the one HP Umbreon to assert dominance here and saying that oh I don't care about your alignment. I have my own Pokémon's. I beat those. Uh, this is technically a positive lead, but the thing is, with his, since both are shadows. Oh my, they swap into Feraligatr trying to catch a move, but Smash King was aware. Okay, he was aware. He's like, no, I am not. Sw oh my, they have Ice Beam. Now we chat be like, see, they have Ice Beam. They watch Home Slice Henry, because Home Slice Henry has making lots of propaganda that Ice Beam is the truth. No, you actually need Crunch. Don't listen to Henry. Well, listen to Henry most of the time, except when he say, run Ice Beam on Feraligatr. Sorry, Henry. Moving into the battle now. Now... 
Spear Alligator can get three moves on any Charmer, including in, including Gramble. So this is not supposed to be a hard matchup, but we will get chipped pretty low. We were supposed to get to another one here. Yes, you guys, I told you it's supposed to get to three. Uh, this land, we are in a good situation. And then we swap out opponent having a poor Gengar. And now the moment of the turn is he going to call the bait he's calling a bait for no reason and now he's going for the bm to say that okay this we went here not because not because we have a shield no because we have we play better we outplay moving to the next game and it's kind of like a bad lead so we're just going to insta swap to the dragalge i don't think smash king likes to throw his it likes to throw his energy on the swap until they swap out so he's still in opponent okay now we can just throw in our our energy he's going straight for the, the, the outrage because we have energy lead and we can just farm down at this point this is a hydro but it should ko because Feraligator does oh my opponent also has having crunch so thank you opponent for having crunch as well don't listen to henry's propaganda about ice beam on uh, on on Feral alligator he wants everyone to run ice beam so he can run jellicent okay uh dragalge right now killed the pokemon chip the second one the, the third oh my dragalge is literally 1v3 in, the, in, the, in this game now we go back to Como. Oh, we go back. We go to Como. Oh, we, we we told the uh, Feraligator to stay outside, and now we can just blindly swap. Point having an eye leap and Smash King going for the BM crunch. You want to throw here Hydro Cannon, by the way, but Smash King doesn't doing Smash King things. He's like, yo, opponent's lost. Let's just put uh, more salt into their injury. Okay. Finishing the first set and moving. I don't think that we finished the set. We're picking up a horrible lead. I'm assuming he's going to swap into the gulch. And are we going to call a bait? He's instantly no shielding. He knows that this is a bait. It wasn't a bait. That's the only difference. Opponent swapped out and now we're going straight outrage. They didn't shield. Usually when they no shield, or they still have to throw because Vine Whip is like double resisted. Oh my, I like this. This is actually a very, a very crazy play that I do like. And opponent, I don't, there is no way opponent is counting. They will shield this blindly. Yeah, just like that. Now we go back to, we go to Como. Oh, I think we do five then throw. Opponent throwing with bad timing, which will give us like a huge benefit here. Uh, they, they went for debate, but it doesn't matter because we're going to do three then throw. Now they do have the move. But they decide to no shield and they have a Greninja in the back. So how do we win this? We just swap out and we spam these moves. And now Hydro can it. Or maybe we can just take crunch. Who knows? We don't know. Smash King outnumbering his opponent. It's 2v1 at this point. One of those Pokemon is like a, a freaking OP alligator. Oh my, that's so much damage. He went for the crunch VM good one smash that was a good one oh my finale getter does not care about resisting his moves because two of them would still ko greninja go back to your trainer moving into the next battle we have finale getting into togekiss this is where we want to see the togekiss as i said you're supposed to get the three hydros and finale getter is op enough uh where like the shadow claw will put them in hydro can range eventually opponent did not shield that's actually the correct play and smash going for the catch on the aerial ace or ancient power and now we're going to dragon tail them all the way down they brought back a giratina so what's the play well we do live a dragon claw but we can shield for the dragon tail damage now i think he's going to bait because the smash king is known for his uh, 500 iq baits just like that because opponent will be forced to shield he's going to let this go no he's like no 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 no, no. i want to i want to play with their mentality so let's just do three then throw opponent is under a massive pressure they decide to let this go i would actually aqua tail regardless even if they no shield just to play with mentality now what's the play we dragon tail them all the way down and he went for the catch and now that was a uh, I, I don't know how we feel about the catch because we had energy but we still have lots of energy opponent having an obstacle smash king let's throwing on three at the time where they can't catch close combat landing on the goon oh no it's a wait it's a brick break I actually did not pay attention it's a recently buffed move brick brick oh my that charm actually crit on the on him uh brick brick decreased the opponent's defense by one stage so your fast move will do more damage 
Uh, moving to the next battle, this is a horrible lead. We have to swap out, and they do have a mod shot. I think a Greedent would mod shot wins this matchup because Greedent is just a freaking monster in this cup. But if you landed the, 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 the outrage, if you get a shield, the gauge is good enough that people always fear the outrage. So Smash King here is like, they fear the outrage, let's bait. They shielded. That was a good bait. Uh, throwing them, they threw in bad timing, so we can just shield because we have lots of energy. So we're gonna do one, then throw, and now opponent is under a massive pressure. Smash King under the charging because he does not want to take this out. All he wants is to land this move. Okay, uh, now we have a massive advantage because we do have a shield and we're just going to get like lots of energy on the combo and whatever comes in will be 100% debuffed. Hopefully they don't get to the move, they do get the move. Greedent is just a freaking monster. Look at that, Greedent taking out almost two Pokemons. We're going for the Brick Break here to decrease their defense. So what fast move will do more damage. I don't know how I feel about this, but it does. it's it's not a bad play. Uh, we're going straight for the Crunch. This Crunch will do some good damage now because it's they are debuffed technically and now they are in hydro can range they usually acid spray here opponent decided to scald i think it's better for them if they acid sprayed because they would have been able to uh, uh well it's going to be a cmp right okay never mind the opponent did not shield so it's going to be oh my did he ha oh my is it okay no, never mind all we need to get is one move here and we're going for the dragon claw we do get the dragon claw and this dragon claw should finish this game smash king taking another gate another win uh but says the uh the, the what was the but says the greedent okay it's a powder snow for all it's about powder snow a9 this matchup is so good for the alligator that as i said even if they have charm it's still a good matchup for the alligator usually when they build up to a lot of energy you could actually just shield because if they shield your charge move you're fine to shield so what does he do well they did not shield opponent having i almost said a uh, like when i saw the typing i was like is this like a dedene no that was a tapu coco uh opponent here uh dragalge is actually the best dragon versus skeledridge all the dragons struggle against the skeledridge except dragalge dragalge is the only one that can handle skeledridge and put him at his place uh dedene is back <sighs> Yes, yeah, it's not the name. It's Tapu Koko. Okay, Tapu Koko is back. I think. Why did they shield? Well, technically, that move is supposed to KO, so he does not have a, any 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 chance. Well, let's don't say don't say it's it's a GG unless until it's a GG. So we're shielding here. Hopefully, this is a T bolt. It's a D bolt. I mean, the opponent is supposed to throw the debuff move. Always throw the debuff move when they shield. Always. I think it was a misplay from the opponent. Smash King abusing the misplay and he's like, you know what? You should open the game. I'm going to punish you. Your electric is not enough to stop my alligator. Moving into the next game. We have a Dragonite. Uh, we go Usually he's going to swap after he gets a shield. And I don't think he minds shielding here. But we're going straight for the Hydro. I think we, like you built to the Ice Beam and then you throw the Hydro. And now... We put another hydro. I mean, if they no shield, they will be in dragon tail range. Hmm. Well, usually there is a skunk registeel and skunk registeel jellicent with this. So, wait, what? ABA dragon opponent? Uh, this doesn't do that much damage, and our dragon tail are chunking the giratina. So we're going to do two then throw because they, if we do three, they will get to their their. their charge move before us opponent catching on kobalion this is uh, do we even win this matchup there is no way we win this matchup sacred sword doesn't do that much damage it's technically resisted and we banked an outrage and swapped out uh, this in this matchup technically kobalion wins because kobalion does neutral damage while dragon tail resisted here uh, we live a sacred sword here comfortably so i think we're going to do three then throw a brick break and based on and now we just need to see what the opponent will do big big super effective opponent forget about that i think we shield and we get the shield back and then we outrage so let's see we do one then throw 
One with no shield, but the dragon tail will KO. That was a massively well played by Smash King. Very, very well played, sir. And now that's a 5 0, I think. As I said, he went to 22 3 with this team in the Ultra League. Opponent swapped into Mandibus. I actually would like to throw like a, a Hydro and swap, but it's not like. <laughs> It's a good matchup for Dragal. It's not a bad matchup for Mandibuzz, but they technically have energy lead. Maybe he's like, I need this energy regardless. Like, if this is their answer, that, that means they don't have an answer. Uh, Dragal is good against Mandy if you're able to land the Outrage. Mandy is good against Dragal if you shield the Outrage. That's how I say it. Uh, you technically live this with like 1 HP, but the Dragon Tail damage is kind of... Oh... Uh. Okay, we can farm down at this point, and we should be able to get the shields back. We have so much energy that we should be able to get our shields back. A point to both in an Annihilate. So, we do have two Hydros. One of them is supposed to bring the shield back, and he went for the CMP. Opponent still did not throw, technically. But they will shield this, because they have lots of energy. And this is supposed to be a Shadow Bolt. They are in Dragon Tail farm down, so I think we can, we can just go Como farm down. Point swapped into the Auroros and, and like like uh, uh, what's his face? Uh, Como is bulky enough to easily tank a move. So we're just going to throw this brick break, which is double super effective, which opponent had no clue about. And Como farming them down, farming the Annihilate as well with the Dragalge taking the last game home. Wow, that was a good game. And yeah, that's uh, that's a that's a that, that's a team you guys just watched. And Smash King went to 22 and three with this team. I will be leaving his stream down below if you want to follow his stream, so you can watch more of this team and learn how to play it. Feel free to give him a follow. And yeah, that's it for today. Thank you so much everyone for watching, and thank you so much to Smash King for sending me these amazing battles. This is the end of the video. I'll see you in the next one. And make sure if you like this, uh, if you like this video, make sure to leave a like. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. And see you in the next video. Peace.